Today's subject is Escape Plan The Extractors, the third movie in the Escape Plan series and the second one to be brought to us by our good friends at Grape Stone. Now I know what you're thinking. Steven, didn't Escape Plan 2, Hades, come out only 368 days before this one? To that I say, yes, and I congratulate you on your incredible memory. Apparently this one went into production right after they wrapped on part 2, and they knocked out all the filming in 17 days. I don't know kids, sometimes I, sometimes I think these guys are just in it for the money. To be completely fair, this one wasn't nearly as bad as Escape Plan 2, which I would describe as a straight up car fire. Not unlike the fire that happened to my own car a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I was driving on the highway and it just spontaneously burst into flames. My car inferno stopped traffic for over half an hour. It was terrible. But overall, still a better experience than Escape Plan 2. And it looks like Sylvester Stallone agrees with me. But back to number three, it's not up to the fun guilty pleasure level of the first film, but it's watchable and only like 80 minutes long. The biggest correction was bringing Stallone back into the leading role after only having him in part two for 21 minutes. These old school 80s action stars who aren't Bruce Willis always elevate the movies that they're in much more than their younger co-stars. Dave Bautista still isn't in it very much, but he does look cool in his grandpa hat and his, with his big gun when he's on screen. He has a scene in which he goes off on his own little journey but says to Stallone that he'll show up at the last minute to save the day. That is a nice little self-aware joke that got a chuckle out of me. 50 Cent is in the film for two minutes. Sorry, fans of 50 Cent's acting. The plot this time around is not about breaking out of a prison, but breaking into one. Vincent D'Onofrio's character from the first film, who 50 Cent killed, has a son who wants revenge, so he kidnaps Sly's 30 years too young girlfriend and a Chinese businesswoman and throws them into the Shawshank Redemption prison. So Stallone and Bautista team up with the Chinese woman's disgraced head of security and one of her dad's hired muscle men to storm the prison and break them free. Another improvement that I'm happy to report is that I can see what's going on. Praise the Lord, the action is visible. It's not great action. It's an okay mixture of Stallone's brawler style and some martial arts from his Chinese co-stars, but hey, it's Escape Plan 3. I'm just happy they remembered to include a light source this time. I really wish this movie was a little smarter, though. It's pretty much a non-stop fight once they get into the prison. That's not automatically a bad thing, but I would have liked to see a little more strategizing. The fun part of Prison Break movies is seeing the characters form a plan and use their cleverness to escape or break in in this case. When things go wrong, they need to improvise. In Escape Plan 3, there's one scene in which somebody looks in, at the structure of the building and decides that they should go through the sewer to get in. That's, that's all the planning they do. After that, it's all punching and shooting. Before I give this movie my final score, I do need to clarify that I didn't get the whole experience due to the film having been made for a Chinese audience. There were a few dialogue scenes that were in Chinese without subtitles and I couldn't tell what the characters were saying. So maybe those scenes actually make all the difference and this is actually a 10 out of 10. I don't know. For English speakers though, this is, this is a 4 out of 10.